I'm about to graduate. Uh, thank you. I, I majored in Spanish. Wanted to major in philosophy, couldn't do it. I couldn't take the ethical dilemmas seriously, you guys. I just... <laughs> ethical dilemmas are never based on anything that could happen in real life. <laughs> My first day of class, the first one was, John, imagine you're on a speeding train going out of control, about to hit a bus full of kids. You can't stop the train, but you can divert it onto another track where you'll only hit one person. So do you intentionally kill one person, or do nothing and hit a bus full of orphans? <laughs> I was like, how do you know they're orphans? <laughs> so bus driver just like calling the conductor, and the conductor's like, hey, those kids on your bus, do they have like parents that would miss them? <laughs> also, do I look like a train conductor? Why am I making this decision? They just buy a, a seat in an exit row. <laughs> you gotta help if there's a plane crash and take moral responsibility if we're in the middle of a Joker plot. <laughs> that's the paper like that. That's, right, that's not an ethical dilemma. That's like the plot of an Expendables movie. So I raised my hand. I was like, well, usually they just find a way to save everyone in the nick of time. And she's like, well, that's not how it works. And this other kid stood up for me. He raised his hand. He's like, no, he's right. The time has been for us. <laughs> the teacher was like, fine, we'll move on. She said, John, imagine. Other, other example, imagine you're driving down the road with your brother and you have the only vial with the cure for cancer and you get in a car crash and if you pull your brother out of the wreckage, you'll break the vial. But if you do nothing, your brother will die. What do you do? And I said, I'd fire the guy who cured cancer and only made one vial for him. <laughs> also, fire the guy who entrusted it to an undergraduate Spanish student. <laughs> guitarist brother. <laughs> the dumbest one I ever heard was somebody said, John, if you had a time machine, would you kill baby Hitler? Such a weird question. First of all, why does it gotta be baby Hitler? <laughs> Can't it be like whiny, emo teenager Hitler? Or freshman who thinks he can diagnose my emotional problems because he took Psych 101 Hitler? I would kill that Hitler. <laughs> You feel nothing. What do you mean? Right? Secondly, it's weird that this is like the first thing we're trying. Right? Like, what are you Why is killing a baby plan A? Even the morning after pill is called plan B. Like, I don't know. Let's try other stuff, is all I'm saying. Maybe let's get a really cool art teacher hired at his high school who like happens to be gay and Jewish. Like, I don't know. Right? It could, maybe it could work. It's like, okay, children, it's time for us to reveal our dreams. What would you like to do, Dita? I want to fly airplanes. Right? <laughs> good dream, Dita. What about you, Adolf? I want to be a painter. That's very good. Much better than being in the government. Am I right, kids? <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you, Hitler, as do all my people. Uh, as a quick aside, there's nothing I like better than reading the Torah with my boyfriend. Uh, that and not getting murdered. Uh, just try it, is all I'm saying. I just wish... I wish for once there would be like one realistic ethical dilemma. You know, like imagine that you're sitting in the park with your significant other, you have a bucket of fried chicken, and you say, we can't finish this, we'll just give it to the next person who walks by. And the next person who walks by is a black guy. <laughs> If you don't, you just denied someone food just because they're black. That's a real ethical dilemma. <laughs>